In this video, we're going to look at trigonometric integration, and we're going to be looking at it as the opposite of differentiation. So we've got cos x and sin x here that we're going to integrate, and we're going to do that by doing the opposite to how we differentiated them. So if you look at the white arrows here, that was differentiation. So sin x differentiated to get cos x, and cos x differentiated to get negative sin x. So this time we're going to go backwards. We're going to go anti-clockwise. So sin x is going to integrate to give negative cos x. And cos x is going to integrate to give sin x. So we've got the integral of cos x here. So cos x integrates to give sin x. So we'll say that equals sin x and plus a c. Sin x integrated, so negative cos x, negative cos x and plus a c. So that's our cos x and our sin x integrated. Now we can also use this from the formula book. So this is differentiating, going forwards, and integrating is the same thing in reverse. So if we had the integral of sec squared x with respect to x, that will give us 10x plus a c. If we had negative cosec squared x, negative cosec squared x, that will give us a cot x plus a c. If we had a positive cosec squared x, so if we had cosec squared x with respect to x, that will give us a negative cot. And you can always check these answers by differentiating them. So if you differentiate sine, you get cos. If you differentiated negative cos, you'd get a sine. If you differentiate tan, you get sec squared. So trigonometric integration is just trigonometric differentiation in reverse. So let's look at these questions. So we've got question one, the integral of 2x plus sec squared x. So 2x, we're going to integrate normally. So we're going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So add 1 to the power, make it squared and divide by 2. So that'll be x squared. It'll be 2x squared over 2. And sec squared x integrated will be tan x and don't forget to plus c we've got 5x to the power of 3 so we're going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power so that will give us 5x to the power of 4 over 4 we've got cosec x cot x which will give us negative cosec x. Negative cosec x and plus c. Sec x tan x. Sec x tan x will give us sec x. So that's sec x e to the power of x. Remember when we differentiate e, it stays as it stays itself. So if we integrate it, it also stays as itself. So that will be plus e to the power of x and plus c. Okay, three more questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, the first one, so we've got five. We add one to the power, divide by the new power, so it's just five x negative sine x integrated 
So that becomes cos x. We multiply it by negative 1 and then plus c. We've got sec squared x for question 2. That's going to go to tan x. We've got cosec squared x, which is going to go to negative cot x and plus c. So we've got cos x here. Cos x integrates to give sine x. We've got 5x plus minus 2, so add 1 to the power, which will give us 5x to the power of minus 1. Divide by the new power, so divide by negative 1, which would be negative 5. And we've got sine x, so sine x integrated is negative cos x and plus c.